Hey everybody and welcome back. Recently I had a request come in to Divine Design to show you guys how I make my thumbnail images. A good thumbnail is a great asset to your YouTube channel and can create interest in your videos. If you would like to see how I make my thumbnails, just stay tuned. To make our thumbnail today, we will be using PicMonkey. Click on Collage once you're there. When this page loads, you're going to notice a square. We need to turn that into a rectangle. Simply click and drag on that sidebar and you can draw a rectangular design. Now you need to click the X to get rid of the picture and click it again to get rid of that box. Scroll over to the left hand side, clicking clear all will clear all the preset images. Now you want to add your own images from the files on your computer. Simply find the folder or section that your pictures are located in. When you find the pictures that you want to use, I will be using these for my Atai lipstick swatches. Simply click all the pictures you want and click import. When the pictures are there, you're now just going to click and drag. And to get that third image, you will need to hover it until you see that thin gray line. Once all three of your pictures are there, you now can drag them around to center them and get them in the exact position you want. And since I want to add a title to the end of mine, I'm going to have to pull another picture. You'll see the gray line. But then I'm going to take the picture away. This will give us that empty box that we can add our text to. Or if you prefer, you can leave the image there, whatever thumbnail you are creating. Once we have our pictures all centered and laid out exactly like we want them, it is time to determine what color we want our framing. Clicking on the little paint palette on the far left hand side will give you the option to change that frame to any color you would like to change it to. It is really very, very easy. For today's purposes, I'm going to leave the frame just white. And now it's time to determine the shape of your images. If you scroll just above that color wheel, you will notice where you can add some shape and design to your pictures. You can leave them square or make them rounded, and you can also change the sizing of your frames between pictures as well. You can have no frame, or you can have a thin frame, or even a very large frame. Once we have all of that set in place, then it is time to begin adding our words. So we want to click Edit Collage. When we click that button, it will give us another little message making sure we really want to slip over to the editor. Once we're over on the editor, we can now begin adding anything we want to add to that bottom section or we can even overlay on top of the images we've already created. If you click the little butterfly, this will give you the option to add different shapes. You'll notice here that I am going to add this rectangular shape with the rounded corners. If you click and drag on the sidebars to make this image any size that you want it to be. Just make sure you don't come too close to the bottom because this bottom right hand corner is where the YouTube play signal will be and you don't want it to cover your image. Once we have that set where we want it, we can change the colors and we can also change the color frame if we want to. You notice I just popped on a little black. Now it's time to add our words, so we want to click on the T's on the left hand side. Scroll through and pick the design that you like and then click add text. You will now need to change the text color if you want to and then center that as well. Click inside of your little box, type whatever title that you want to type. Then you will notice that you're going to have to click outside of that rectangle to be able to change the size and shape. Not exactly sure why that step is necessary. Once you click outside of it, you can now click on those sidebars again and begin to drag that frame to the desired length. When you have it in place, you can now pull it down inside of the little image that you've already created and make sure that it's all centered up. You can also change the sides of, size of these words if you would like to. It's all up to you. I'm going to add a secondary text and you will notice that I'm changing the color of that just to show you how to do it. 
I'm also centering it back up and now I'm typing my secondary title in the box. Clicking outside of that box will allow me to grab hold and drag and I can click this little circular button at the top in order to give my frame a diagonal look if I choose or to flip it completely upside down. I am dragging the size to show you how to make the image bigger and now I'm readdressed adjusting my frame and pulling it back to the center. Once you have your title exactly the way you want it, it is time for us to either share or save. By clicking the share button at the top, you can share this right to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest. Or if you're not wanting to send this picture to anybody and you're wanting to keep it just for yourself, we're going to back that up and we're going to click on the save button instead of the share button. Clicking on that save icon will bring us up to a section where we now want to title that picture. I'm going to title mine Thumbnail. And then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and click Save to my computer. This will bring you up an area where you want to save it into what file. And once that's done, voila, your masterpiece is saved. It is super easy to do and a great asset to your channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon.